Hello and welcome to another video of Power BI beginner tutorial series and today we are going to discuss one power query function that is list.union. So this function helps us to union to list. To do that let's jump onto the Power BI and in Power BI what I'm going to do is I'm going to go directly to the transform data under the home tab there is always option for transform data and here I'm going to create a blank uh, query first of all so home new source and blank query okay now we'll right click and open and open here and we open the it and then let's say I want to create a list first of all so I'll say this is list list one and what I do can do here is I can say one comma two comma three comma 4 okay and then I can actually return list 1 instead of source so I only have one thing which is list 1 here so I'm going to return that and this is not correct this is basically should be like this okay uh, so number it's all number list so and I say done so you will see there is one single list now what I do here is I go here again to advanced property and uh, let me do one thing in the next step let me create one more list list 2 And let me give a comma here so that you know first statement get terminated with the comma second statement now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to return the list to okay same numbers are there so you're not able to differentiate so let me go ahead and change these numbers so I'm only going to keep the four as a common one and then I will have five comma six comma seven I can have any number like I can even have a hundred and let me return list two so I have four five six now in this query I have two lists list 1 and list 2 it's not always that you return a table just like uh, we used to do in uh, most of our power query operations uh, where we deal with the tables we can return a list also now what's happening here I, I have two lists now the next operation which I want is I want to combine these two lists so I create a list 3 here I could have given that inside this one only and I say list dot union and I give list 1 comma list 2 but it requires and then I need to give comma in, uh, this one in the first line okay now it requires list of lists so it should give an error here okay and let's say advanced editor and let's return list 3 so it's giving error because it requires list of a list so we go to advanced editor and we try to make it as a list so I give both the list inside this one and let's try that out now. So now you can see and you see four is only coming once. This is union. Union means the duplicates will get removed. So what happens when you do union of two things, whatever is common, that's going to be coming only once. That's not going to repeat. So that's the behavior of union. So we have uh, taken that advantage of that behavior. Now let's play around more. Let's go back to this right click advanced editor. And you might have a question what happens if I directly want to give these lists here. So let's say I want to give this list here. Do I really need to declare a variable? So I can give here. And let's do some change also. Let's also repeat 3 here. After 4, let me repeat 3 here. Okay. And let's say done. So you still get the same result. These are different lists but still get the same result. And I'm returning the list 3. Okay. So uh, list 3 is one which I'm returning and still I'm getting 3. Now you might have a question. This is something is going to be very less when we actually going to do power query because we are going to deal with the tables and maybe we would like to combine columns from two different table or from the same table that could be the requirement this might not be the requirement that I create two lists like these and combine it so, so, so how to do that so for that let's create a very simple data let's create an entire data and we whatever we can do with one table we should be able to do with the second table so let me create two columns a1 and a2 a1 and a2 can be in different tables also and let me give these some elements here so let me give 1 let me give 3 let me give 5 and let me give 7 and here I'm going to do I'm going to say 1 2 4 and 7 so I'm repeating a couple of and let me call this table as data let me call it as data okay and say okay now we got a table 
data and it has 2, a1 and a2. Now here what I am going to do is I go to query 1 again, right click, advanced editor and in the advanced editor let us create one more list, list 4 which is again list dot combine. Now it is lead list of lists so I create start a list which is basically uh, angular bracket angular bracket and you know in the last line I need to give comma to make sure that it is a new line and the last line is ending. So I given a comma there. So I given a comma I say list and list dot combine there is no elements right now here and let us try to say data and let us try to give a column name a1 and data and a2. Uh, the column name needs to be correct. And now instead of returning list 3, let us return list 4, okay, and say done. And now we look at the list. So we got one, we have given list dot combine, advanced editor, we need to say list dot union, not combine. So we say list dot union, and you can see 1, 3, 5, 7, 2, 4. So this is unique list. So our elements were common was 1 and 4, those 1 and 4 com column common uh, columns are not coming. So we are getting the uh, union list by removing duplicates, duplicates appearing only once. So in this way you can take advantage of list.union when you want to combine two um, lists. Now wh where would I use it? Let us say uh, I have two tables and I want to create a common dimension between them countries there in table 1 and countries there in table 2. So what do you do? Uh, if you want to create a table, uh, in the DAX you can do go and do union. Now here uh, the country column and the country column. Here what you are going to do is you are going to do list or union, country column from table 1 and country column from table 2. Now you will get a list and then what you will do next section is two table. So you will convert into it into a table and we can say simply accept it. Now we got a table. So you will get a distinct list of countries. Now you can join this table with the both the tables. This is going to make sure that you know you have distinct list of uh, countries and then you are joining it with both the tables and getting your common dimension which is basically what we call the bridge table also. Okay, So you will get a bridge table and now you can join with them. Similarly there could be another common dimensions which you can create let us say category item and in this manner you can create your star schema. So go ahead and try this out. Do let us know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.